Hello and welcome back to Farming Simulator 22, but this time I'm on Hoff Bergman. Yes, you heard that right. Hoff Bergman is on FS22, finally. This is one of the best maps I've played on FS19, it really is. Farmer Andy, who creates this map, has always been one step ahead of pretty much all the maps I've ever played on. All the production features that are now in FS22, it was already in an FS19 on this map and you can get hands on with it. So to see the return of Hoff Bergman on FS22 is massive for me, it really is. Now I just want to quickly point out that this is a beta version, so currently it's not for general release just yet, but it will be soon, hopefully a couple of weeks time, fingers crossed if everything goes alright. So this is basically for testing out, see if there's any bugs and all that kind of stuff. But from what? Mm, I don't know who that was. Anyway, yeah, but, but from what I can understand so far by just having a quick look around, everything seems just spot on. It really does. The whole map has changed. The whole layout of the map has changed. And I think the best way to show you is just to go through it. So this is the map. If you were used to Hoff Bergman in FS19, you can see that it's a completely different layout. It's a little bit small. But also, if you do know about Hoff Bergman, you know that it expanded over time. There was new sections built in different areas, different features, different production things. It was so many different things included by the end version. So what you can expect if the same trend happens with this version is that more things will come in time. But for a base start, this is an outstanding map and I'm really excited to get started. Now, I will be doing a proper series. This is technically my first episode, but we're just going to look around, but I will be doing a proper series. So the first thing I want to point out is there's traffic now on the, on the map and they're actually, the vehicles are quite unique. You've probably noticed that there was a, a delivery van, a Hermes delivery van that's gone past. Uh, but yeah, there's now traffic on the map. So this is our house, farmhouse, right, right in front of us. And as you can tell, it's pretty much like it was in FS19. The uh, delivery option for the animals doesn't currently work. I don't know if it's ever going to be put back the same way it was, which is you use the laptop. That's not like that anymore, so you can just go up to the actual animal uh, en enclosures and get them delivered that way, or you can obviously bring them in. Now, I think chickens, for example, you probably wouldn't do that because you can tell that uh, you're going to you're going to be standing there to do it. But I'll go through everything in the farm one by one, and we can have a look at the new layout. So as you can see, we've come through the house and we just turn left, and this is where the chickens are. So you actually start off with some chickens. This is where the water goes, and then in here you've got where the feed goes. Now, again, like in FS19's version, you've got your wheelbarrows, and obviously you're gonna go and fill it up. You, this is where you put your big bags, um, which is all the big bags are actually custom to this map. You've probably seen them in a mod that I've been using on Carmson. Um, there we go, just got in. And then, like, like I'm doing now, you can just fill this up, and then you can take it over to the trough and tip it in. Pretty cool. So let's just quickly test this out. I do like this new layout for the chickens. I mean, you could do so much. It was uh, pretty crazy. I mean, at one point we had chicks in FS19. Now I can confirm there's piglets, there's baby cow cows, so there's calves. You've got baby sheep. Um, you've got also baby goats, and you've also got pretty much baby horses. So there is. <laughs> A crazy amount again, but there you go, we've just done that, so that works a treat. Now the big bags, you can actually make big bags of everything, pretty much everything. You've got a big bag, um, I think if we check on, you can actually go into the LSFM farm equipment pack, and you can see all the stuff that comes with it. You've got this, um, a bucket fillable, all that stuff's pretty good. And if we go to construction, I think it should be in here now. Now I have tried this out with all the mods that I usually like to play. I've tried even more out just to see if there's any compatibility issues. But to be honest, it worked a treat, so we didn't have any issues there. Uh, but what I'm actually going to be looking for is probably... I'm just trying to think, see the big bag handler. It's, well, it's not a handler, it's like a, a platform where you can... Uh, with a bit of a hopper on top and you can just put anything into the hopper and then it'll just make big bags you've probably seen it in fs19 but i know that is still included so we'll, we'll get to that at some point now you have got a bicycle randomly in the garage you've got a bicycle and you can hook up to this trailer and you can go obviously for a ride on your bicycle and i'm guessing you can put stuff on the back so you're going to go and sell things um, a lot of the farming is small but you can also farm 
like medium style fields and medium style equipment but with everything that goes on it's more I'd say more small to medium style farming on this map uh, but that's not an issue because of the amount of things that it just offers there's so much difference so I think what we'll do is we'll work our way around this main yard section left to right and we'll just have a look at the storage areas as well so on the far left we open this up we have got a tiny little landini in here and this is obviously for the vineyards but there is a properly outstanding vineyard area with some crazy production features there really is uh, but up the top as well if we open this you can see that that's a storage place i don't know if we can just quickly make it out but you can put bales up there and then on this kind of l-shaped building is where the horses go so if you walk into here we can put some horses into the here into these stable boxes and there is a trigger I think it's about here. There we go. So you can see that you can get a foal, which is like a small version of the this this uh, grey um, horse, and then you've got the mare version foals. Um, and yeah, there is a, a massive difference. So foals need a lot of love and care in order for them to develop into adult adult animals. So it's nice to see that we can get some foals. So why don't we go with one of these, and uh, let's buy two of them. Why not? So they should now be. In here, look at him, chilling out, baby horse. So obviously the feeding, again, we'll figure that out as we go, uh, but we can pick up quite a bit. You can see it as well, there's a little, um, it's like a front loader, small, small uh, useful for obviously coming into this area and maybe putting some feed in. Let's just have a look up these stairs. Ooh, we're a bit uh, quite tight. So another area for storage, you can probably open that, but we'll open it from the outside. Um, and then you've got your stable door, you've got the top one, and then if you go to this side, it'll be the bottom one. And then on the outside is pretty much where we've just been up, and if you open that, there you go. You've got um, some storage upstairs for bales. Um, and you'll find that when you start the map, you've always got bales. It really does work out pretty well. So that's the other side of where we were just in. Now, this is pretty cool. This is where you can take hay and straw, and you can basically tip it in. Um, before you could turn these on, but I don't know if you can turn it on now. I think it just works automatically. These things will probably be implemented as we go through and, and more updates come out. But it technically just works by going up into the storage area. Then you'll come under here with um, some form of like trailer or whatever it is you're using. And you can take your straw and hay. So there's a nice storage area for hay and straw there. So this is where the pigs go. So this is a pig area. You've got, again, a bucket. Sorry, a wheelbarrow. I don't know why I called it a bucket. Uh, but again, we can just get some, just have a look. So we can buy a piglet, a porker, and a sow. So a piglet's obviously um, not to three months old. It, it says, in order to breed piglets into fattening pigs, they must be regularly supplied with fresh feed, water, and straw. Um, so let's get two of them. So let's have a quick look at the porker. You can see it says, also known as fattening pigs, they need to be fed well so they can develop into sows ready for slaughter. So let's get two of these. I imagine that they're going to be different in size. And then you've got a sow. So these pigs are already fully grown and can be used to, for reproduction purposes. Um, sows have a gestation period of four months. So these are full grown pigs. You can decide what you want to do with them. But uh, I do like the fact that you can see a little baby piglet roaming around. Look at that. Just chilling out. And then you've got this big boy. Just chilling out as well. Um, let's have a look inside and we can see so obviously these are your feeding troughs um, I'm not sure where the water goes it might be on the outside Ooh, don't want to run over the piglet uh, so these are the porkers you can see the difference in size I do like the fact that you can see the difference in size and it's also it seems like they are I'm thinking are they different breeds that just randomly generate or are they all the same? I think they might be all the same, actually. I'm just trying to find where the water is. Maybe it's already there. Let's just have a quick look in our animals. So you can see that we've got piglets here. Uh, yeah, so water isn't included in this, so we don't need to give water, whereas the chickens do require water, um, but the pigs, they're all right. So they've got same kind of feed types. Obviously, if you give them pig food, then this is all filled up. Base food, grain, protein, root crops. Yeah. So that's the pigs. Again, you've got up top a storage area. If you can just make it out, we can go up the stairs around the side. 
There you go. And then this one opens up as well, so you can get access from both sides of the farm. Do you like the new layout? I have to say, he's done a cracking job of it. So now we're just looking, oh, this is the main road, so we've obviously, so that's the house over there, this is the main road, main entrance, you can see Hoff Bergman, and then you get in, so that's your main way in. And then we've got some storage and what we start off with. We do start off with a nice own 4x4, it's a, a Nissan as well, so it's all modified already. This is actually what you start with, Nissan, Hoff Bergman, and in the back it opens up so you've got some storage area, and you've got a little flatbed as well. More storage space over here, no, no vehicles stored in there, but you've got more storage space. You've then got your traditional LSFM um, Innovations Universal Tanks, which holds pretty much everything. Now, what's really good about this is you'll see the dial going up on the back. Um, it did have hose connection and all that kind of stuff compatible. It hasn't got that currently. I'm pretty certain on that because obviously we're still waiting for things like that. The buckets work though, you can fill them up with water. This is a barrel trolley, you can see all the fill types and things it can have in same for this these go on the bicycle transport trolley bicycle you can push this one around whereas this attaches to the bicycle and then you've got your wheelbarrows pretty much used um, I'm not sure what the difference between these two uh, but yeah you've got a brand new and two used there um, and they'll pro there'll be more stuff uh, it's just obviously trying to find them and this is this is just what we've uh, started off with so if we just try and scroll down to the owls so this is the big bag pack as you can tell so you've got your big bag um, platform with the hopper on and these can make all these these bags um, and then if we have a look at farm equipment you can actually get a sack barrow and you can get a transport trolley as well and then you can also get this kind of stuff, which is an IBC tank. You can see you've got more tanks here. And um, this is all comes with the map. Then you've got this, which is used to store uh, various liquids. And it can be transported by the telehandler, which is pretty good. 25,000 litres in that, which isn't bad at all. And you've got this, it's got 15,000 litres. Same kind of uh, use to it. And obviously a big tanker at the back here, which is pretty useful as well, because it can transport milk, goat milk, whatever you want to do. And yes, there are goats, um, and you can get goat's cheese and goat's milk like you could in FS19. Uh, diesel tank starts off with about 8,000 8, litres, yes. So there's plenty of diesel if you need that, which we will. So you start off with this fence. Looks like it's a 314 Vario, I think it was. Yeah, 314 Vario. And then you've got the top line of Deutsch Far. Um, header just goes here, and then here is your old school did like this um, silo, it's really nice. Uh, the good thing about it is, well, you can hide the sides. So if you go over here, and if we bring up the F1 menu, I'm sure there's a place where we can hide the sides. There you go. So you can have the sides up, or you can put them back down again, which is a nice touch. Uh, there's another entrance going out here. Now, if we have a look at the map, you'll see that we start off with pretty much two fields. Now, I have purchased some areas because I want to go and have a look at them. But you start off field six and five, so we're looking directly if we open it up on the opposite direction to that, so we're looking at field seven. Uh, but you can go over there and purchase, well, I think you actually do start off with, yes, the horse paddock. So that's the horse paddock. So there is another area for horses that can be outside. So if we just put a couple of mares in and just have a look what they look like, you can see this is it. So you've got a nice paddock out there for the horses. There's a lot of traffic. It's quite busy. So this is pretty good as well. So this is storage, like I said, you start off with bales. So you've got this is your straw one. Now if you go up to it and press I'm using Xbox control on the PC, but I've used X so you can actually go into it and then it's in German, but uh, there will be some translations coming. Everything else is pretty much translated, but there's a few thing that still needs translating, I've noticed. So what I've just done is emptied them. So now we can actually access these bales. But if you want to jump back in and then press X again, what you'll notice is it'll go crazy. All the bales will be um, spawned in like it would be at like auto, um, auto loading. And then one's obviously gone through, which is pretty good for me because I can show you. So then that one's gone in. And as soon as you fill it up again, the wrapping goes on. So it's a nice storage area for bales.
So you've got more parking spaces over here, storage area. Now we've got, now we're going to look at the cows area. So um, I can't open that one. I think it might be. There we go. That worked. And now we can now we can do it again. So this is where the cows will be. So you've got the milker. Um, your milk goes over here. This can hold milk as well. So this is a, a tool that comes with the map. And then this is where, obviously where the cows are going to go. The, the the point over there to get the cows are just on the other side of that. So we'll do that in a second. But this is pretty much your cow enclosure and inc cow shed. I do like it. I do like it a lot. I mean, in the last one, we had calves. You could walk them around. Oh, there was so much to it. There really was like you'd have bulls and... It was just, it was just into it, it was crazy the amount of detail that went into it for it being a FS19 version was uh, pretty impressive. So this is where you've got a manure pit. I don't know if this is also combined with the pigs and the cows. We'd have to find out, but uh, we will find that out soon enough. And then here you start with a John Deere 7810, bit of a cedar, and then obviously you've got some seed, seeds and fertilizer in here as well. So you start off with a small plow and cultivate it, and then a nice storage area that was in FS19 version, which is where you can put obviously things on the floor, but then this up here, if you just stand, you can tell it to go down, put some stuff on, and obviously you can send it back up. Works on both sides as well. So that's pretty useful. So let's have a quick look in here. So this is our workshop. Looks pretty good. So obviously we can do whatever we need to do in here, customize vehicles, repair vehicles. Um, and again, it's some more storage area. There's a lot more storage space, I feel, on now on this map, um, especially around the farm. You've got your water trigger. And then if we open this, this, these are our fields. So we own field five, which is directly in front of us, not too big. And then we've got field six, which again is, again, it's pretty small. It is a small size field, but it's good to get started with, especially with the equipment size you actually start with. There's nothing too big. We've got a couple more tractors to look at, but as you can tell, the plow size, cultivator size to start off with is pretty, you know, small, small size equipment. Now this bit, I have to say, I really do like this. This this bunker, the way it is situated, the way it goes up, um, and it's a big bunker. I really do think that's uh, a nice touch. It's laid out really well. And then over here, you've got some more fields that we don't currently own, uh, but obviously you can expand out to. Another thing about the bunker as well, I just like how it's got this sheeting effect on the top, so it's rolled up sheeting. Now, if we fill the bunker up and wrap it, or uh, or you know apply the sheet after it's compacted, it'd be interesting to see if these still are here. I mean, I'd be very impressed if these disappear. If they don't, it's still a nice touch. But yeah, we'll have to check to see if they are still there after we've wrapped it. So here you go, you've got a trailer like we had in FS19 for... Uh, cow i think we used to transport the bull on that so interesting to see but let's have a quick look so you've got the two breeds you've got angus and holstein now what you can you can notice is we can buy some calves so they're obviously newborn feed your calves regularly so they can develop that into heifers and then into cows and as you can see we've got heifers so it says here Feed your heifers regularly so they can develop into cows. So there's obviously different stages here of growth, which I do like a lot. You can actually distinguish between the two. And then you've got your fully grown Holstein. Now, the good thing about the FS19 version, which I'm hoping we get to again in this version, is the the bull or the, or the bulls you could get. You'd have an area where you could actually use the bull properly for what it was, you know, specified for. We all know what that is. Uh, now, it's not obviously currently in that state, but you can still get bulls. It does say bulls are there for the protectors of your cow herd. I mean, you could just buy one for the fun of it, um, but they don't have that much effect like they did before. But it's still oppressive, to say the least. So the bull's just chilling out over here, and you can see that this is a main cow. We've got a calf over here, just chilling out. And I'm just have a look in the heifer. So there's your heifer as well bit smaller i do like the fact that all the sizes are different really does it really does make a difference so another two tractors that we start with the 3670 massey and an 8340 new holland got a trailer and a bigger trailer there so they're probably your main tractors on the farm and then in this corner over here we've got where we're going to make cheese 
So over here, I think this is butter. So this is butter. So you can go into productions and this is how you're gonna be managing the butter. Uh, again, your cheese is production. You've got wheat, grain meal. So then you can obviously go and get some whole meal like we did before. So we can have wheat, grain meal, barley, oats, millet. Now it's called millet, but it is actually sorghum. Um, grain meal, again, we can make flour. We can turn milk into UHT milk, which is ultra heated treatment. Lasts longer. If you've ever been on a, on a plane, you get them little pots of milk. That's UHT milk. It just lasts longer. The, the pasteurization of it's been, uh, it's, it's a lot, it's a different treatment when it comes to pasteurization. It lasts a lot longer than uh, fresh milk. Uh, so that's pretty good to see. I imagine you take that to the dairy. We'd have to test it out. And then when it's at the dairy, you can get pallets of UHT milk and UHT cartons. Again, you've got the contract filler. So if you take wine, it can do wine bottling. So if you take red wine or grape juice, you can get bottles of wine um, and packaged ones, basically. So after you've made your wine, which is really interesting, we've got plenty of stages to make wine. It's not just a simple button press this. It's There's a lot of stages to it um, and a really nice vineyard as well. But uh, after you've done that, you can then come to the contract filler or let's just call them the bottling plant and they'll sort that out for you as well. So you've got biogas plant, pretty standard. You have to purchase it. I have purchased it to show you. I will go over there in a second. Um, and then you've got, look at look at this. You've got tomatoes, lettuce, strawberries, but not just that. Cucumbers, cauliflower, onions. Um, and if we have a quick look down, you've got different allotments. We've got apples and grapes, as you'd see. Cleaning prep slash preparation, step one. Then you've got your step two, fermenting. Step three, process or press, sorry, and stabilize. And then you've got your mature, it's maturing um, as it's turning into wine. So there is a lot of steps there, um, but we'll go through that as we get to it. So it, it looks like we can open the drum to see the butter. Um, we haven't obviously got anything to do that, but we will be getting into things like that. And then over here, we've got uh, cheese. So this is where you're going to be doing cheese. And then you can obviously make cheese or goat's cheese. Now I used to call this cow cheese. So we could make cow cheese or goat cheese, just for the fun of it. And that's pretty much this side to the farm, apart from this, which is calves. So we can get a tiny little calf in here. Why don't we get a couple in there? There you go. And then, like last time, I imagine we're going to be bringing milk over here and uh, pouring it into the bucket. And then they should grow into that. Now, again, we've got some mini bales over here, some mini straw bales, and it's the same aspect. You can obviously... Um, Take, the, take as many as you want out and then obviously load them back in. Uh, you can just drop them. So if we went in here and just said, right, just drop them here. And you can pick up a bale because they're only really small. And there you go. Pretty good. Nice and easy to handle. So let's have a look at this. This is calf igloo number eight. So we want to go to animals. Calf igloo eight. It, all it needs is... It looks like uh, I'm trying to figure out if we need to give it anything additional than straw. It looks like it just wants straw. Uh, eventually, though, we will be getting milk, I'm sure of it, and pouring it into that. Again, this is the, the beta version, so there is a lot still to come. So I think that's pretty much it for the main farm. So the best thing to do now would be to let's, let's start flying around and uh, have a quick look. So if we turn on flight mode... And we can get up in the air. We can see that this is the main farm that we've just been around. But there's two more things around here that I want to go look at. Um, now, both of these things you do have to purchase. You don't start with them. But if we go across the road over here, this is where you can get your sheep and your goats. Now, obviously, with the sheep, I think it's sheep or just goats. I think it is sheep and goats, yeah. So you've obviously got wool. And you can even have lambs, by the way. So you can have your sheep, obviously, for your, for your wool. Let's just get some baby lambs, because that's it's got to be a must, doesn't it? Let, I want to... You know what? I'm going to get 60 baby lambs just to see what that looks like. Um, one sheep. We all know what a sheep looks like, but we don't know what a ram looks like. Let's get a ram. Um, let's get two rams. Bar ram you. And we're going to get a young goat or a baby goat. And yeah, so goats are there for the reason of to, to, to get goat's milk. Sheep are obviously for wool. Um, let's get a male goat. 
So, in fact, let's just, it doesn't really matter if we get a male or a female. How crazy is this? So we should have a load of baby lambs. We have, as you can see. There's one here. Lambs everywhere. It's lambing season. And then you've got... <laughs> well, I'm looking for the baby goat, so I've probably confused myself now. This is a goat. It's definitely not a baby goat, though. Where's the baby goat? Is this a baby goat? This is a baby goat. Nope. Is it? I don't know. I think it is. I think they are baby goats. Are you a baby goat? I don't know. What did he say then? That's a lamb. Whoa. I've obviously scared the lamb. There's definitely some baby goats in this field somewhere, but I, I can't seem to find them. Uh, but this is our ram. And then over here... Is another ram, I'm sure of it. Yeah, so we've got two rams, and then I know at some point I did buy some normal sized goats. Are they sitting in here just chilling out? God knows. That is just a goat. There you go, that's one goat. So <laughs> the point I was making is you can get goats, you can get baby lambs, you can get baby pretty much everything. It's, uh, it's, it's really cool. I can't wait to properly try this out. So this is a bit of a town. There is no cell points in this area. And the bit that we're looking at over here. But there is over here a nice old wheelbarrow. Because that's what you that's what you gotta have. You gotta have a wheelbarrow on this on this map. But if we just float around over here and then go have a quick look at this, this is pretty cool. So as you can see, you've got a nice little garden area. It's like an allotment area, which has got all your things you'd need to start growing um, some vegetables and stuff like that and then in here you've got a bucket and your wheelbarrow that you'll obviously need to use and then some nice sound effects coming off that uh, but if we go to this and then pick it up you can see that this is basically an allotment and you can tell it that you want to activate this you'd obviously need to put water in it and it wants the fertilizer as well so they all want solid fertilizer as well now you can as you can see, it's all changed now. You can't buy, if we go to, I think it's this, so you've got your buckets and stuff in there, you've got some boxes. This one's for different bits and bobs. This is just for apples, so you can get some apples. In fact, what we should do is just quickly, we want, we don't want that one, we want one of these. And then this is fertilizer, so you can buy some solid fertilizer but as you can tell by the bag itself um, it's not for like in a field it is actually garden fertilizer so I just want to turn flight mode off and then if we drop it around here I imagine there you go it's taking 20 of it so there is a trigger somewhere for this there you go, it's taking all that. So there's only three litres left in this. So if we actually look at allotment number five, was it? Yep, allotment field, garden field five allotment. Now you can see that the solid fertiliser is up on that one. So we could technically start doing cucumbers in that. Um, and I think this one's also got some um, fertiliser in. So we just need water now. Um, we'll come back to that. Let's just go get a bit of water. I imagine this is what this is for over here. Or this, I think it is. There you go. So let me just make that out, but it is filling up. Now there is a trick, there's got to be a trigger somewhere for this. Right, so what I've decided to do is just to see if it works with the watering can, because you'd expect the watering can to, to be what this is for. There we go. So you can see that it's now used water. So we do need a watering can for this. And there will be some proper triggers somewhere. Just trying to figure out where they are. 
So let's have a look at the cucumbers. That's got some water in, but it's not got enough. So obviously it does need quite a bit. So let's try and fill it up again. And we're just testing this out, because why not? Ah, so I know what I was doing wrong then. So you do have to actually tip it. So that's what I needed to do, tip the water. Which is, uh, yeah, makes sense now. I don't know if that's empty, but let's try and put into this one some onions. And then let's see if I've got any water left. I don't know if I have. Nope, so let's go put some water back into this and then we'll actually have pretty much everything growing that we need to. Or all the new types anyway. There we go, so that's that. And then if we just go over here and tip it, you can hear it, and that's it, job done. So that's pretty much all sorted. And then over here, we've got a tiny bit of solid fertilizer left. It's probably not enough to have an effect. Uh, you can see that it has disappeared, but you can see that the onion, onions are pretty much growing. So happy days. So next, what we need to do is just try out this tree so we can get a, a crate load of apples. So ah, we need to actually get some uh, water again for this. So we can come back to that in the proper episodes, but you get the idea. We've got some nice garden allotments um, to keep yourself busy. So next we're going to have a look at the biogas plant, which is just down here. Um, it's pretty straightforward. There is nothing different to it. It's, it's a biogas plant. Um, you've got all the production features you would normally expect from any other map, uh, but it's a nice size. It even comes with its own bunker so and a massive shed as well. So if you do buy this area, then you're obviously going to get your money's worth. Um, but it's nice to obviously expand to that at some point. So let's just jump up again. We'll get flying through this area. So that's the shop over there. You've got, if we have a look at the map, you've got the shop. And then over here, you've got a village shop. So you've got two different types of shops. Uh, this is the village shop here. Obviously, you can go in and sell stuff, some of your home produce. Um, we've got the gas station, a grain mill for flour, the grain mill for wholemeal. This is where you can buy some animals or sell a land market land market sales uh, and then this is the contract filler so we've been talking about that so this is pretty much just an area where we can buy and sell things um, and again like in FS19 you've got the church on Hof Bergman where the vicar is always been drinking too much wine and he's off his head there you go as you can tell he loves the wine so hopefully we'll make some money off him but also there is some really good field sizes. There isn't too many grass fields though. There is there, is, there really isn't many grass fields. If we just turn grass on, you can see that we've got one over here, field 13. And then you've got, um, I think that is it. You know, I think you've really just got one grass field. So you'd have to make grass field maybe of yourself. There's also this section here. Um, there is, I'd say, ways to uh, sort that out by just putting grass down in a field but at least you've got the one I guess uh, but yeah you're probably going to need to do maybe a couple at least of grass fields uh, field 19 is the biggest size you can see that it's uh, it's at like 900,000 so it's quite expensive and then you've got some some more so it is a, an expensive area to say the least uh, but we don't need to look over that side anymore like I said we've, we've pretty much just gone through all that uh, then over here, we've got a poultry area. So if you really do like chickens, you've got a nice area just specialised for chickens. Um, and you've got the, the different areas that we had, like, a bit like what we have for the pigs. Uh, but this is just going to be really good for getting a load of eggs and hopefully making some serious money. Um, it's easy as well because you can store your chicken feed in these and then it will uh, pretty much just dispense out. So that's pretty good. And it's the same in all these compartments. You've got four of them. So a nice open area there. 
And the field sizes aren't that small, actually. They do look pretty big. So if you do expand out to this size fields, then you can see that uh, it offers quite a bit. So this is a carpentry area. We can have a look around, but it's pretty straightforward. You can come here to sell wood. This is your wood sell point. And then if you go over here, I imagine this is productions. Servus. What he said. So the, ah, this is sell wood. So you can put your wood there, and then you'll come up here to, to sell it. This will be the trigger for it. I don't think we can get into that if we don't actually own it. I think I don't think we can buy it, no. So there will be productions though on this. If we just have a quick look at the productions menu. So we want the ah, there isn't actually productions on it, so maybe we do have to purchase it. That's interesting because you can't I don't think you can purchase it, but there's no information on the production side of things. So maybe we just buy that, buy that. Yeah, we definitely can't purchase it. But if we go over to here, there's a tip trigger and another tip trigger over there. So there surely is a way for us to do some carpentry stuff. I mean we can go into the cell triggers and just see if it does say you've got compost as well if you're interested in that so there isn't any yeah so that we haven't got um, furniture you got wood chips and you haven't even got wood as a sell point is telling you the price anyway but you can sell wood because there is a trigger for it so I don't think you can do actual um, carpentry work so that's that is interesting i'll have to try that out to confirm i probably didn't point out as well that it is all precision farming compatible we can obviously purchase our soil information it's a really good field a lot of loam in that um same with that and that's even better nice <laughs> nice really that's what you want um, and then we can also get this as you can see it's got a nice custom precision farming um, soil map to it so pretty much what you want uh, so this is the spinnery I'll have a quick gander at this obviously you get wool pretty much what you do sell your wool it's interesting to see if it's got the things that we'd expect from original production stuff so let's just have a quick look in this just to see what we've got on offer because I don't think I think it has taken out some so we haven't got like cake for example we haven't got cloves as well so yeah it has taken some out so it's only got the stuff in that we can pretty much get hands on with and uh, I, I don't mind that I'll be honest I don't mind I like having the different things um, it's trying to keep to its uh, original way of thinking when it comes to Hoff Bergman so the final place we're going to look at is one of the best places which is the vineyard so over here you've got some nice big fields but over there you've got a massive vineyard area and it is huge and as you can see Bergman since 18 since 1687 was it I think it was yeah so in here you've actually got four stages so you'll bring in your grapes from over in the fields or when you get obviously busy working and then this is stage one so this is the great processing area this is when you're going to get if we have a look at this we'll talk through it one by one but if we go down to the bottom and step one you can see that it's cleaning slash preparation so you're going to put in grapes you're going to get two outcoming products one's going to be bio waste and i think we can use that maybe to if if the same applies to what in fs19 you could use it to make your own fuel i think we we could make fuel and sell it as well so that could be something for that i'm not entirely sure yet We'll have to test this out and find out as we go. But you can see that we're obviously going to get um, clean grapes from from the grapes that we put in. So that's the first stage. So this bit here, you'll tip your grapes in, and then over here you'll get the clean grapes. So then if we come into here, this is stage two. So this is the processing part of it. So that in here, you'll put clean grapes, and then you'll get your fermented grapes. Now, you can just set it to distribution. So from the cleaned, so from the fermented grapes in here, they'll go to stage three, which is uh, 
this one here, which is press and stabilize. So we'll be putting in grapes in here. We'll get two outcoming products, which will be grape juice. And then, and then we'll get this press residue. Not sure entirely what we'll do with that. Maybe it's just a byproduct to sell. Or we'll use it for something, uh, which is pretty useful. And then finally on the fourth stage, which is this one, I believe we can switch on the pump. There we go. And if we just have a quick look at the stage four, you can see that uh, grape juice is going to turn into red wine. Um, now I haven't seen. I don't think this is stage four here. Stage four is. I'm not entirely sure. You know, that could be stage four, but we're all we're going to have to test this out as we go. Um, and then in here, you obviously can put liquid fertilizer or herbicides. So you've got a nice storage area. Uh, because you're going to need it, especially for these this size uh, vineyard over here. This is massive, and it's all set up for you to, to crack on with it. And as you can tell, there is uh, a lot of rows to go at. <laughs> there really is. But I think that is the main gist of this map. So remember, it is beta. It is early days. Let's go over to the dairy first before we end it. Just have a quick look at the dairy. But yeah, it's early days. There's a lot that's probably going to be implemented a lot that's going to be updated uh, but what a good start and finally Hof Bergman is back on FS22 so like I said I will be doing uh, as soon as possible a series on this we'll we'll, uh, we'll delve straight in I probably won't obviously start with 2.3 million in the fields that I've got I will just start off with I'll probably start off with field 5 field 6 we'll do some of this so I'll start off with that uh, same with the goats because I want to try that out and I'm also going to be doing some vineyard work because I haven't done any yet in FS22 properly. So I think this is the map for it now. Uh, but yeah, I am excited and I'm really looking forward to just getting straight into it. So I think that's a good point for me to end the video on. There will be, like I said, more episodes coming very soon. If you are interested in getting hands on with this in the beta version and testing it out, you can do that by going to lsfmfarming.com. Um, I'll put a link into the website in the description of this video. You have to be a supporter though. It's uh, completely optional to do that. You have to support uh, the uh, map creator and uh, the team and what they've done to build this. Um, you can choose three months, I think it is, and up to a year. Um, and it's just it's just like a donation. And you do it and then obviously you get access to this to try out as a beta. Or you can wait, I think it'll be like two weeks if, if everything works out, could be a month maximum. And then it'll be there for free download anyway, like it always was. So it's entirely up to you if you want to uh, contribute and as a thank you for all the hard work that it goes into making maps like this then that's the way to get a hold of it early if not that's perfectly fine you can always watch some of my videos uh, while you're waiting for it to become general release um, so thanks for watching I really do appreciate it if you've liked it please give it a thumbs up and if you're new to the channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more videos just like this one on Farming Simulator <laughs>